I'm not sure if I said hi before, but if I didn't, hi, and welcome back to my channel. So I have been documenting every day of our current lockdown on video and uploading it to my YouTube channel every night. I'm also a believer. I am a Christian and I firmly believe that God's spirit is alive and that he is our ultimate comfort and he can comfort us during these times that we do feel very mentally and physically tasked. Hobbies, thinking about how your physical body is actually coping with your current situation. Mentally, really thinking about what you're reading or what you're talking about or what you're thinking about and trying to hold those thoughts captive in a way where you can assess them like, is this really a good idea? Is this a good idea for me to really be thinking about that as much as I am? Or do I need to work hard at releasing it and letting it go? So I happily drink two cups of coffee a day. I do. And I love the taste of coffee. I love the warmth of it. And I love the slow of it. And I am finding more and more and more that when I read the Bible with my children and on my own, I just get this real sense of slow, to just slow down. So we're stuck in our homes. What are we gonna do? I spoke to someone today and I said, you'd think our houses would all be like immaculately cleaned uh, or we wouldn't be walking around wearing our husband's sweatshirts. You'd think that, but this is just a different time that we're in. So I have done a tiny bit of scrubbing on that entry area that I am still cleaning. I did as much as I had time to do. And I didn't even buy into for one second the could, should, and would. I just, I didn't do it. I am, yes, staying the course. Yes, trying to keep the routine. But I'm just learning that being hung up on whatever is happening, what is happening, what you think should happen, what might happen in the future, for me can be very detrimental because it doesn't actually change the fact that we have to stay home. We have to stay home and keep staying home. And it's, it is a challenge. It is difficult. And I have needed to cry. I have cried and I feel that that is also fine. But it's that clinging to the hope that it's gonna be okay feeling that I really want to just encourage people that trying to rush things along and be super busy and do, 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 and go, 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 go. I have been there. I have spent most of my life trying to just push myself along and not slow down and not just chill out and put my husband's sweatshirt on and drink a coffee at six o'clock at night and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter but being kind and loving and supportive of other people does matter. Are you spending any time being kind to yourself? Are you spending any time being compassionate to yourself? Are you spending any time being loving to yourself? And I know when I edit this video and look back at it, I'll be glad that I said that because then I'll hear it then I'll hear it and realize that, yeah, I'm a good mother. I love my kids and I hug them and I kiss them and I tell them they're beautiful and wonderful and smart and clever. But I'm like the mother. I'm the mother at home with the kids. So I don't always have like the person around me saying, you're wonderful and great and awesome. And as an Enneagram six, I might overthink it to the point where somebody says you're wonderful and I'll be like, Really? You sure about that? So working at not doubting and being more trusting, it's definitely something that I keep on working on. And yeah, so I think I'll just leave you with that little thing that I told you, my little words of wisdom. My plan from now on is really to dial way back on wondering what's going on and trying to work it out and talking to different people. I mean, I still wanna to talk to people. 
I want to talk to people, but I just want to talk to people about real life stuff that's going on. What kind of hobbies they have, what book they're reading, what amazing dessert at Aldi they may have found. Real life stuff, because there are a lot of people out there who really are struggling. There are people who live alone and they're really unsure. There are people who don't know God, they don't love him, or they had a bad experience in a church that then made them think, whoop, I'm out of here, no more. Who knows? But I keep saying, I just wanna show my simple, uncomplicated, regular life. But behind the camera is a person that has struggled with the lockdown. I have had moments where things have felt very dark. I have described it like being in a little boat in a bay, having the time of my life and the sun shining and everything's beautiful, but there feels like there's no wind keeping me going. I have explained these different challenges that I've had and I just wanna keep telling everybody like not every day is sunshine and roses, but the sun does keep shining and God is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. So if we can try to really lean into him, Lord, give me the peace, give me the comfort, give me the embrace that I need, sustain me during this time, help me to continue to be loving and kind towards other people, help me not to fight and quarrel over small things, help me not to be triggered by things that I disagree with, help me show compassion to other people and to myself. We will continue on. I will work on my quilts. I will work on being peaceful. And I hope that you have a great day.